Soundtrack. I'm often asked, Dr. Dan, how long does a vocal warm up last for? So, for example, if I do a vocal warm up at 3 pm in the afternoon, followed by a sound check at 4 pm, do I need to do another vocal warm up if my gig isn't until 8 pm or even later? A sensible question. I mean, surely the warm up has a shelf life, right? Well, to arrive at a sensible answer, we first need to be cognizant of a what a well-rounded vocal warm-up is seeking to achieve. Christina Shewell teaches that a warm-up increases the blood flow to relevant muscles and their temperature, probably making them more flexible and malleable. But this increase in blood flow and temperature doesn't stick around forever. In fact, you probably have a window of less than an hour before the benefits of your 15 to 20 minute warm-up starts to drop off. So where possible, always try to do your vocal warm up in the hour preceding performance. And if that time frame gets blown out by unforeseen circumstances, taking you out beyond the golden hour, then try doing some light humming as well as some pitch glides and sirens. These will help you to maintain the heightened blood flow and muscle temperature needed for agile and efficient singing. Going back to our opening situation of 4 p.m. sound check and 8 p.m. gig, then I would recommend doing two separate vocal warm-ups, with both being as important as each other. The pre-performance warm-up is obviously important because you want your audience to hear you at your best, and the pre-sound check warm-up is important because you want to get your voice through sound check with minimal cost to the instrument. I hope this all helps. Happy warm-ups everyone. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. <laughs>